Question for you. If you're going to go to a bank and get a credit card or get a loan to buy an automobile, or if you're otherwise looking to interact with a bank, are you going to ask that bank for proof of funds? Of course not. It's a bank. You know they have funds, <laughs> right? But why? Why do you know a bank has funds? Well, it's because of what a bank stands for in your mind based on what society has portrayed. And look, we're not going to get philosophical in this video, but the point is, is that you never question that a bank has the funds because a bank is a financial institution with those big brick pillars before you walk into the door and maybe there's a large uh, table that, that oversets into the bank and it just has this feeling of significance. It's your ability to carry yourself with that same level of significance that is paramount when you are interacting with sellers or brokers or anyone in between. Now look, I'm not saying for you to lie. If you're without funds and somebody asks you, how much funds do you have available? I'm not saying to lie, okay? Don't lie. Here's what I'm saying. Most times you can get around the proof of funds dilemma by carrying yourself like a professional. When you carry yourself like a professional, a professional that is well connected, you should not get this dilemma, right? I'm the founder of an investment group. We are making acquisitions in the XYZ industry and I'm interested in analyzing the financials of your business, right? In the case of, if, say, you're talking to a seller or if you're interacting with a broker, something I probably don't recommend you do for your first deal, but for subsequent larger deals, brokers can be your best friend, right? I'm the founder of XYZ Business. We've already made Y number of acquisitions in this sector, and I'd like to get all the information you have about Z deal. Please send me over the financials and all relevant details, right? When you conduct yourself in that way, you're not going to get any pushback. Well, before I send you over the financials, I'm going to need to see some proof of funds. No. Nine times out of ten, you're never even going to hear that. But again, the reason I personally very rarely get asked for proof of funds and the individuals that work alongside me at Brighter Living, the reason we very rarely get asked for proof of funds is because we conduct ourselves like professionals. We conduct ourselves like deal makers. Now, I will say, however, when I was getting started, when maybe I was a little less certain about what I was doing, Sure enough, I had a lot more brokers and sellers asking me for proof of funds. And what I said pretty simply is, hey, look, we are absolutely connected to capital to get your deal done if the deal makes sense. So please send me over the financials so we can have a look. Right? So I didn't say, oh, I have $4,386,000 in a bank account because that wasn't true. But what I did say, which was true, was, hey, look, sir or hey, look, Mr. Broker, or hey, look, Mr. Seller, or hey, look, Mrs. Seller. I have plenty of connections to individuals who have a plethora of capital. The question really becomes, does this deal make sense such that these individuals that I'm connected with will want to partner with myself and deploy the capital to do this acquisition? And for us to get to that answer, we're going to need to see your financials, your balance sheet, your statement of cash flows, whatever it is you're looking for. And so that's really how I handled that question when I went from zero to one. But now that I've already done a deal, a seven figure deal, now it's even easier because now I have a track record. Our group has a track record. And at this point, we basically never get the proof of funds questions asked. But if you're at that zero to one stage, AKA you've yet to do your first substantial deal, then simply by partnering with a world-class board of directors and by building other partnerships with potential investors, if you decide to go down that equity route, simply say, Hey, look, I have plenty of connections with individuals who are very well connected and very well capitalized. And they're interested in making acquisitions in this sector, just like I am. But for us to move forward with this deal, we're going to need to see the financials. And again, with that certainty, that's really the key. You have to speak with certainty. Like, psh, what kind of question is this? Of course we can get this deal done. Send me over the financials. Hey, it's Jason Rogers. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up the video, and for more, go to jasonpaulrogers.com.